Hey racers, John Race with you today, and it is that time of the year. It is the new year, and I figured it would be a perfect time to just make an update video for the channel and just update you guys on everything. 2022 was an incredible year. I'm gonna go over everything that happened in 2022. I'm gonna say thank you a lot to you guys. I'm gonna go over what's gonna be changing in 2023. There are a lot of big changes, and I'm also just gonna be talking about a whole bunch of other random stuff. So Let's get into it. Now, I had a huge update in 2020. From going to 2019 to 2020, my channel went through a huge change. I started posting on TikTok. I started doing a whole bunch of these things and it was a huge change. This year might be on par with that. But before I get into the, all the changes, I am going to say thank you guys. 2022 was an incredible year for the channel. Uh, I did so much stuff and I got so much support from you guys on everything. I didn't think I'd be able to outdo last year with all the growth that we had, but this year I had some major brand deals and some just life-changing moments that came from this channel that I wouldn't have been able to do without you guys. In the spring, I did like a March Madness tournament with a bracket that updated after every race, which you guys absolutely loved. That was a bunch of fun. In the summer, I had the pleasure of working with Forza and Xbox, something that I had dreamed of ever since I started streaming Forza, which was absolutely incredible and it was the big sponsorship I had had to that point was working with Xbox and then seeing my video on the Xbox TikTok page that was just unbelievable and for an expansion for Forza that had to do with Hot Wheels I mean you couldn't connect any more dots it was such a good partnership and I had such a good time I'm proud of the videos and it was just it was incredible. I, I didn't expect something to happen like that this year. But right after that, I was reached out to by NASCAR and I worked with NASCAR making videos for them and they even flew me out to a race, which is absolutely unbelievable to think I started this channel in 2015 just making Hot Wheels videos as a kid and now it has become this huge thing that even brands like NASCAR want to get involved in, which is just unbelievable. Just being able to make a collaborator post on Instagram where it had my name and it had NASCAR's name and the same thing. You could go to NASCAR's feed and see my videos. That was just, it was a surreal experience. All the drivers commenting on my videos. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better partnership. I also have some more news, some stuff coming in 2023 about that NASCAR partnership, but I think I'll end the video with that. So stay tuned. All right, now I wanna get into the changes that are gonna be coming to this YouTube channel and just all my content in general, because it is a pretty big change. As some of you know, this year I made a John Racer 3 shorts channel to post all the shorts that I post on Instagram and TikTok all on one place. And it went from zero to like 2000 subscribers in a year. And I didn't promote it at all. So obviously there is a desire to watch my shorts content on YouTube, which is why I'm gonna be making all my shorts and posting them on this channel. Something that I've just been learning over my years of making Hot Wheels videos is the longer format videos, like the 10, 20 minute Hot Wheels tournament videos that I started making when back in 2015, 2016, 2017, all of those that I would do for years, people just aren't that interested in those videos anymore. And it's the short form vertical content that you guys like to see. So. Starting in 2023, most of the videos I'm gonna be posting are gonna be shorts on the John 3 channel. Now, don't worry, there will still be the one-off, like HD wide tournaments, such as the Festival of Speed. I'm still gonna be making Matchbox convention vlogs, haul videos, supercar videos. All of those are gonna stay the same, but the majority of the content are gonna be the shorts. I'm gonna be changing the branding a little bit around the channel so that all of my social media sort of match, which means the three, the iconic gold and white number three, I'm not gonna be using anymore. It is sad, I've been rocking with the three logo for as, for since this channel has been created basically, uh, but I'm gonna change it away and I'm still gonna try and find ways to incorporate that three because you know, it is a part of the channel on the color scheme. It is super cool and it's something that I wanna keep. So maybe with like go-karting content in the future, which I'm planning on making a bunch more of and maybe just other side videos that I'm interested in, I'll be bringing that back. But yeah, so I guess that means the shorts channel that I made uh, last year, I'm just, I'm not gonna use anymore. So if you guys are subscribed to that channel, Thank you, but I mean, that's just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave that there. I've been working on a completely new format for the short videos too. So last year, I just made a huge series, TikTok Cup season three. And what it was, it was just, I made as many videos as I could and then I posted them. And then as the video sorta, you know, as the series waned out, the views just weren't there because people lost interest in the tournament. So I'm gonna be making shorter tournaments 
for all of the shorts videos. I'm gonna try and make them more engaging so you guys have more of a say in the videos as well for as like what cars you wanna see, what you want the track to be. So there's gonna be a lot more leeway and a lot more variation in the shorts content that there has been in the future. So the content's still gonna be there. I hope you guys are excited for that. Last year, I made a goal of saying I wanna show my face more in my videos, which as the year progressed, I wanted to do that. I wanted to show my face more on Instagram with all the videos and stuff, but it never really works out in the videos that I make for me to show my face. And it doesn't really make sense in the content that I do to just turn the camera around and be like, oh, what's up guys? Uh, so I never really did that. However, this year it's gonna be changing because I am gonna be making a lot more front facing content. With all of the shorts coming out on the channel, it's gonna be the main bulk of videos, but I still wanna have some more connection with you guys. So I'm gonna be making and bringing back content that I made started in 2018. If you guys, I don't, if you're one of the 100 people who watched my No Speed Limits podcast that I did with Hot Wheels tournaments way back when, I'm gonna be bringing back that brand now and sort of using it as a way for me to talk to you guys and answer questions and just have more in-person content. So if you have a question that you're interested in, what's my fastest car? How many Hot Wheels do I have? You know, all of those questions, just leave them down in the comments and then I'll answer them in videos throughout. The I'm also gonna be making a lot more go-karting content. I said that before, but it's content that I really enjoy and go-karting is becoming more and more a part of my life. So I'll incorporate the three in that and then I'll just, I'll find a way to make it cool because it's racing content and it's content that I enjoy making. It might not be the normal Hot Wheels stuff that you guys have subscribed for, but it's still fun. You guys absolutely blew up my Instagram this year. One of my goals for last year was to make my Instagram bigger. I started posting the videos on there and it worked. We are at like 180,000 followers on Instagram, which is absolutely crazy. Still not verified on TikTok or Instagram. What's up with that? I'm not gonna make it a goal to get verified on these platforms because I have no idea what even constitutes. I don't even know how that works. So the goals I'm gonna set for this year are gonna be just a little different. We have been sitting at 4.9 million followers on TikTok for about 10, eight months now. Um, so in 2023, I wanna hit 5 million on TikTok. Just, we're so close. We're so close to getting there and once I start posting this content, I really hope we're getting there, but it's just, I've been on there for so long. Let's just push it to 5 million. Maybe I'll do a giveaway or something, I don't know. As for Instagram, I'm just looking for the constant growth. I'm gonna be posting my videos on there. I have a bunch of photos that I'm gonna be posting, as well as a new project that I haven't even told you guys about yet. It's called John Racer 3's Garage. Now this is gonna be a huge project. It's not even close to being done, but in my Instagram bio, you can find an account where I'm gonna be posting pictures of all, I'm trying to get every single Hot Wheel in my collection, every single die cast, so you guys can know what I have. And just like, there are some cool stories behind some die casts. So I have a whole new Instagram page. If you're interested in seeing what's in my collection, there's gonna be that as well. I'm hoping to branch out my content a little more on Instagram as well. I've been working with some collaborations that I hope come to light here very soon. Uh, with products on Instagram and stuff, you'll see I have some collaborations in my new content coming up that I just hope to evolve more as the year progresses and I make more videos. So that is a goal that I have as well, is just to make more collaborative content with other creators. I think that's really cool. And as for YouTube, I'm just hoping that posting these shorts comes as a, as a great success. YouTube has been leaning more and pushing more to their shorts, uh, content on YouTube. I personally never really watch shorts on YouTube, but if it's becoming more of a thing, I'm hoping for more success when the shorts start coming out. Now, one more thing before I get to the final announcement of this video, which is probably the biggest announcement and the biggest thing that's gonna be happening in 2023, is some of you guys might know, I took a break from posting content this year. I just sort of stopped posting videos um, on my page because I just didn't have the time. Uh, as some of you guys might know, I'm a full-time college student. I have been just working my butt off, trying to get all of this work done, and then doing John Racer 3 on the side has been difficult, so there might be some hiatuses in content this year. I don't wanna set any expectations for posting every three days or every day or anything like that. I'm gonna try and make as much content as I can. I'm gonna try and make the content that you guys like to enjoy, and I'm just gonna try and do what I can with the life I have going on right now. But again, I'll keep in touch on social media. None of this will be out of the blue. I'm not gonna quit at all. I'm, I'm enjoying the process of just 
what I'm capable of achieving with this channel. And I think that's the main goal for 2023 is I want to be able to see how far I can push my channel, how far I can push my, my reach, my audience into the future so that I can harness or harvest more uh, partnerships like NASCAR and Xbox because those are huge. And I, that's just what I want to do is make connections with other brands and stuff like that. Now it is time for the biggest announcement during my time in Virginia when I was filming the NASCAR video when they flew me out. I may or may not have filmed a movie with my roommate. Yes, there is going to be a John Racer 3 movie coming out in 2023. And I have a little sneak peek I can show you guys. Here's that trailer. It's not much, but this is going to be one of the biggest projects I have ever worked on. If you guys are excited for this, just let me know. I mean, it's taken months. I mean, I was in Virginia months ago and at the new year, recording this right now, it's barely even halfway done. Uh, it's going to be a huge thing and it's going to be awesome and it's going to be exciting. And I cannot wait for you guys to see it because everyone who's involved has been putting so much work into it. And it's not just me. It's a huge crew of people making this happen. And it's super exciting. And uh, I'm just excited to see the reactions of what happens when it's done. So that's going to be coming out this year. And I'm super super excited this video is all over the place but that's just how my content is and that is all i have for you guys today this is going to be my 2023 update hope you guys are excited about any everything i hope you guys are eager to see the content that i'm making i have some really cool stuff really cool videos really cool ideas in my head that i'm gonna be working through throughout the entire year so i hope you guys are excited for that and just like that that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys are excited for the content coming in the future. It's going to be a big change, but I think it's going to be worth it for the channel. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.